Hey, what's up, everyone? We're on Mastermind number four, and it's me again, Tim, and my friend here. Juan, we're back. <laughs> we're, we're back. back. Going to get swifty, get into yeah. it real quick. <laughs> yeah. Well, well this time we're finally at the same time. So. I know, right? <laughs> that's finally yeah. uh We're both here now in uh, Austin, Texas, so that's really cool. <laughs> and um, yeah. a little bit late here on Monday, but, you know, yeah. we're here again. <laughs> yeah. So um, let's get right into it. Um, we got four topics for today here at the bottom. Um, right. I know you got some interesting stories, Juan. Um, I'd like to hear about your this past week's achievements or what he, what have you been up to? So, coding wise, I slacked off a lot because okay. I was just trying to settle in and back here and do Airbnb. I I rented. And um, what else did I do? And yeah, I mean, I got to hang out with the. I mean, we went to. We hung out. We went to a couple of coffee shops, whatever. Mm. And then I got to hang out with Jan and my friend Dave. So I guess the one achievement was I was able to like meet a potential employer today. Right I guess that counts as a step last week, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. Like any step closer is awesome. Right. I mean, that's a step closer to Austin, and that's um, uh, they're not exactly downtown, but they're up north of Austin so it's not too far from here but um, yeah that's pretty much it I don't have anything else besides that to be honest um, what I guess what kind of industry are they in like is it fintech health tech green tech health, uh, I'll say it's health tech um, can you tell us more about the position itself um, the title yes. and stuff so there, I applied to two so I don't know which one they're going to take me in for because I applied for a software engineer one that's basically just doing front end stuff. And then I applied to this like support engineer that does like that's doing like I guess like somewhat tech support but also coding. It's kinda weird. Oh, okay. So but then like it was not asking like for this for the that many like that like experience. Like it's, it only says like if you know this like a scripting language like JavaScript or something, hmm. you're a good fit for it. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. So, that's yeah. so as long as I get to code and still keep learning on a job, that's fine with me. And uh, I, I met the my uh, Dave's friend. His name is Rich. And then I met the hiring manager, and I got to uh, get to know the office. I mean, just walking around the office, whatever. And everyone's in pretty chill, pretty quiet space. Like, like all the desks were pretty and like and the and the stone. Like they were not talking to each other. I mean, I'm sure they talked to each other, but they were like concentrated, and I like that. Um, but yeah, dude. All right, cool, man. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. It's cool because you got here and then you kind of got hooked up with the the community or friends in here. They were able to show you around. That was quick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was really quick because Dave was just like just hitting up everyone he knows, like in the day on Twitter or like email. So his this friend of his was the first one that to reply back quickly so oh okay yeah um yeah on my end as well i was feeling kind of burned out i I think i got caught in that you know cycle of you know job application interview technical assessment and it just took a toll on me honestly so i think the i took i did the the best thing for myself and i just took some time i just watched um front end masters a little bit after all this past week and just took it easy this weekend so yeah. i'm feeling a lot better which is good but i um i'm probably gonna make a video here just to like a public service announcement for developers to take care of themselves because i think we all get wrapped up in you know this industry and like you have to go 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 you gotta be the top you know all this stuff but really yeah. man like at the end of the day i think if you just look at your life you're like oh you know i'm having fun i'm eating well and i think you're actually more productive that way um yeah i guess just through all the experiences it made me feel like i wasn't enough or something and right. i was like ah, oh, it's it, it's draining really it's so draining yeah. and i'll probably get more into this but i had a couple phone interviews and i had two technical assessments this past week as well which i'll go nice. more to later but um, other than that, it's been a pretty normal week for me. Nothing like no on sites or anything. Um, mm-hmm. More so hanging out with Juan here. You know, we uh, checked out 
the Capital One Cafe on Congress. Was, yeah, I want to go back. I want to go back, dude. <laughs> that's pretty legit, yeah. And we uh, checked out the uh, Aust- Austin Library as well. Um, huge place. Yeah, They've love that place. Good time. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think that's it as far as my end for this past week. Uh, I wish I had more to share, but it's yeah, it is same. some weeks are slow. <laughs> yeah. Really. Um. So let's. I guess if we don't have much for the past week, what are you up to this week? One like in terms of uh, your goals. So the this week. Um, so I guess the main. I guess the first one I was thinking about was working on local. I mean, because I, I, I guess we did some Loquella stuff this week just to set up the landing page, but, but that was pretty basic. Mm-hmm. So grinding that Loquella thing and then um, and keep polishing my site because I just need to fix, like, the projects section, and that's it. Like, right. I just need to make some cards for this flight projects. But I've just been, I've just been busy catching up with homework because I had a lot of, like, essays to do this week. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess... I guess another goal will be to like make it to some meetups this week because I know there's one tomorrow in downtown. Yeah, and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, and, uh, but that's pretty much it. I mean, hopefully, I'll have an interview. Maybe I mean that's one of the goals. Like I want to get an interview, but I mean it's just a waiting game, basically. It is. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So. Yeah. I'll, I'll jump on some of my goals this week and yeah. we'll circle back in case you think of more things. Yeah. Um, I think I got some things that you would be doing. So that's, that's why I want to get started. Um, for my week's goal, it's basically to get back into that job application process and just following up with companies. Cause the thing is like when I apply to them, they kind of keep you uh, on their, their, their table but then it kind of fades out if you don't reach out or they don't reach out. So you, sometimes you have to send an email or something just to check in. And that's what I plan starting to do tomorrow because today, right now, is actually President's Day. And maybe some of them aren't working. They haven't responded to you know, the, the last message I had sent them. So I'm going to work uh, on following up with the companies. As far as um, events go, there is one on Thursday that I want to let you know about on um it's called Pro Hispanica. It's a okay. it's a big social. I think it's at Oracle this week. So for oh. food should be cool. I'm down. Yeah. And besides the job app process, I'll probably be working on finishing up my uh, blog, my Next.js blog website. I think I got pretty far, but it's just creating the content is on the last two pages takes some time because there's a lot of um, like resources or uh, things mm. I, I'm, things that I use on my personal setup, and I want to share those with people. But there's a lot of you know technology that I use. Right. And I think the last thing is probably we were talking about this uh, talk that we were gonna do uh, here with one of the groups. So this is actually more so next week, but I thought I'd mention it here. Um, I w- won't be able to do the talk as we originally planned next week. <laughs> um, unfortunate. Uh, I had a trip scheduled this weekend that I completely forgot about. And so basically, we can't reschedule it. We can't push it back later in the week. So as of this point, at this point, we're just going to, you know, schedule at some other time. And I think that's the best we can do for now. Yeah. And to circle back to you, Juan, you know, like what what else you got going on this week that you maybe just thought of now? Um. If, um, I haven't thought of anything else. So yeah, pretty. Yeah, like I'm trying to look busy this week, but it's just a matter. I mean, like I, I definitely want to go to that meetup you, you said, though. Pro Hispanic. Yeah, Pro Hispanic. Um, I'll send you the link first, for it. Pro Hispanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what else? I think that's it, man. I can't think of anything else. To be honest. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, I, I'm, still, I'm still gonna apply to jobs and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like our regular stack now. Just apply jobs yeah. and code and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so the next one, as far as meetup goes, uh, I kind of mentioned them here. Prospanica and the digital nomad that talk that we're going to do next week, but it's canceled. Mm. And I guess on my end, as far as meetups, I did go um, just hang out with, uh, you know, 
the member from the leadership team, you know, kind of just bonded with them so that we work better. And the idea that we're doing now is like we have a an, an survey form that people can take when they come to our event because then we get a better feel of what event um, they would like to see in the future with the group. So we're all we're still getting started well with all that and eventually you know it'll be more it'll be more a quicker process but we're we're still ramping up our company <laughs> not company but meetup group. I don't know why I said company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so are there any other meetups this week, Juan, that may, maybe you heard about or trying to go in town? Um, so the one I'm going to tomorrow is ho- being hosted at Cloud it's downtown. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's a JavaScript meetup. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's the only one I've seen so far. And then besides that, I still need to look into meetup.com or whatever yeah. um, and see what's coming up. So. I forgot to mention I did go to a networking event called Built In. Yeah, you went to that. I I told you about that. It was on Thursday, actually. And there were six different companies here in Austin. Uh, I can uh, vaguely, I can remember Arrive Logistics, Black Locus, uh, a, a Cloud Guru was there. And then... There was another one. I there's, can't remember them all, but it was a nice social event. They gave us a drink ticket, and we got you know food from a hot tray. They, they laid it out for us, and just got a chance to really talk with people there inside the company. And I, I met some other people at the event itself, so hopefully networking with them as well. But I think it's still worth it sometimes to go to these events because you practice your social skills. And I met some really fun fun or funny people however you want to look at it yeah and yeah that's yeah that's all the events i actually went to um you got any other meetups one um not so far i'm trying to think of like well i guess i don't know if this counts as a meetup like uh i was hanging out with the airbnb people oh just yeah networking just networking with them um so that was pretty fun like uh like yesterday we went to this uh korean karaoke thing <laughs> so i never been, i never done anything like that or never been to a place like that so it was kind of fun to be honest so yeah you gotta let loose sometimes man <laughs> yeah that, that was a fun video though it, it was just a farewell thing because uh the guy from spain i met here and a girl from south korea they leave tomorrow so that was like their farewell uh event goodbye so, yeah yeah all right, let's um, try to finish up here on the last topic. Uh, yeah. We got side jobs, calls, interviews, and on-sites. Uh, feel free to go into more detail about you, what you're talking about earlier, Juan. If you have right. anything else you want to mention. Right. So the job I, well, the office I went to, it was basically like uh, they do. I don't want to say they do help tech um, strictly because mm-hmm. everyone that went to their side. It um it looks for affordable services like like insurance or something and like food services for like people I guess that are homeless or something. Hmm. Uh, but they do have like the engineering de- department like doing stuff like I don't know exactly what they do yet because it's not really clear on their side. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, the office environment, I liked it. It was pretty quiet. It's, it's very comfortable. Um, I mean, it, it, no one was wearing, like, serious, like, uniforms. It was basically just yeah. casual, pretty relaxed. Um, what else? What What was yeah. the team members like, or uh, what were they working on at the time? If you so I did see a couple of terminals open and, like, some cut out of yours. The, like it was this is pretty informal so they, they didn't, this guy didn't go in depth like it was just basically just a tour say yeah so here's the developers this is where I work and then I met the the hiring manager or whatever uh, but that was it I didn't they didn't he didn't talk about like anything like what they worked exactly mm, so yeah, yeah. I guess until like the actual interview they'll tell me like this is what we're doing here and this is what you might be doing or whatever. 
I don't know. Who knows? Okay. Just so, have to wait and see, huh? Yeah. Just wait and see. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I went to a Lambda school meetup on Saturday as well. I met up with fellow students in the area. Um, there were some that were visiting from San Antonio as well. It was just a good chance to chat with developers. Um, it was like about three hours long, so I was really tired afterwards. But I think the main thing that I got from it was meeting people, which were cool. Some were just starting. But I took a chance to talk to people that were maybe a year in or more. Because then I started asking him questions about the progression of their next job. What are they looking for? What kind of salary they're trying to look for? Future plans of their life and things like that. Just in the sense that I can look at my own life and reassess uh, where I am and where I want to move to. So it was really cool connecting people in that way. As far as my interviews and side jobs or uh, calls go, I had a call with a health company and it was basic with basically with the you know non-technical recruiter everything went good they made me take an assessment on hired.com i think or yeah hired.com really basic three questions like two algorithms and one was pretty easy um i didn't solve the last one i ran out of time for one of the edge cases that they were asking for but i think it went well overall i think they're right. still reviewing the the code actually right now so hopefully i'll hear something later this week from them if they want to set up an on-site and the other company i interviewed with was a i don't know what what kind of tech they do but they're in downtown austin they were very there were two people on the call with me but i felt like i was in a lot of pressure like they really want someone to know their stuff i was trying to explain closure to them and i was having some difficulties because i couldn't make the code work and what I think what people might be not suspect is that some people might want you to explain your code as you go through it. And when you're working on your own, you can just push the run button as much as you want, right? To see what works and what not. But mm. before even I could push the run button, they said, "What's what do you think the problem is? Even before you push the run button. So I, have, I don't think I've reached that level of mastery yet. Like they're just... I'm, I'm just used to you know running things to see what works and what not doesn't work and it was right. a difficult topic for me even though i, I learned it in front end masters um just trying to explain it and apply it is the hardest part and i think the last thing is of the other interviews um nothing really came out of it yet uh the big fintech in houston they just haven't contacted me back yet there was a big um home improvement company if you remember i told you about yeah uh, no on-site calls about that yet either. But I think that's the gist of what I had going on last week. I know we're going a little bit over, but um, what else do you have? Do you remember? Um, nothing yet. I mean, I, I did apply to ID, but I mean, there were, I think the jobs were expired. Cause, I mean, uh, I only applied to ID because my friend Dave told me he's got some friends that work in the downtown office or whatever. Right, but uh, I mean it's whatever because the jobs the jobs were expired, so it doesn't matter. Um, where else are I applying? Did you? Oh, go, I applied to. What's up? Did you go do the uh, South by Southwest thing volunteer? I did sign up for that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, not related, but it's it's cool. Yeah, yeah, I did sign up for that though. I I think they're gonna email you back if you're up for the task. So if they email me back, I guess I'll do it. I mean, I'm, I mean, if I don't stay, I'll stay just a bit longer just for that. Yeah, and I think then, it's, it's really worth it because there's a big tech, you know, portion of it that people go to as well. Right. They, I mean, my friend Dave was telling me about that. Like, it's pretty big, like insane, big, like really cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, get get yeah. crazy downtown. <laughs> yeah, get crazy downtown. And then, yeah, one of the... The other job I applied to that my friend contacted his friend was at this company called Big Commerce. They're also in downtown. Right. right. I've heard and of I that. think yeah, I think I applied to two positions, like one being a dev, like front end dev, and the other one is also like a support engineer. It's like I don't know, it's uh, it's like that's pretty new to me because I never seen like that title to be honest. So it's doing mm-hmm. support stuff, but then also coding i guess 
I don't mind it. I mean, as long as it's coding, I don't care. So yeah. that's mostly it, though. Yeah, cool. I don't have any. I don't have any calls like lined up yet. So, look, I'm I'm just waiting. Like I'm telling you, I'm I'm playing the waiting game here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it doesn't hurt to keep applying to because then you can, yeah. um, pick the companies that offer you positions. You know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, hopefully we get a chance to meet up later the downtown this week again. And mm-hmm. you know, go to Pro Spanica, um, yeah. more somewhere on Loquella, and <laughs> that's that's as much as I got for this past week. <laughs> yeah, sounds good, man. Cool. Let's close it up. Uh, good to see you online again. I uh, know you've been yeah. uh, running around having fun, <laughs> checking out the city. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you later this week then. Alright, man. Sounds good. Alright, peace out, bro. Peace.